reason why people are moving from religion is because they realize they've been bamboozled. They realize that they've been taught symptomatic thinking. That means I just tell you stuff and it's not based upon nothing real. We know that the Bible and the, the Quran and all of them are not history books. It has nothing to do with history. It's somebody's personal philosophy. And what people are finding out is that what they thought they loved about Christianity, what they thought they loved about Islam, is ancient Kemet, the teachings that's coming from ancient Kemet. So as more people begin to study ancient Kemet and start learning the truth, start learning about who they really are, is that these people who created civilization are their ancestors, and those ancestors are still with us. Those ancestors are in our DNA. So that's why there's so much programming to keep you in the matrix. I want to keep you singing to Jesus. I want, us on your, I want you on your knees five times a day praying to Muhammad. I want you doing everything to stop you from thinking about who you are and how powerful you are. And when you see these images of ancient Kemet, you see yourself, Rich. You see yourself. Look at these young people. They got tattoos of Ma'at and Haru all over them and some of them don't even know what they are but they can feel this energy so let me just say this again people are moving to comedic spirituality because number one it's not a religion I'm not putting you in another box I'm not taking you from the frying pan into the boiling water um, I heard one brother he had taken on he had gotten rid of his name and took on this Islamic name and his father said well you just went from one slave master to another you know, you need to get a true African name that expresses your culture. You notice when you're in this box called religion, your culture and your ancestors are become irrelevant. In fact, you almost can't be faithful to your religion and still worship your African ancestors and culture. That is true. So that is suicidal in itself. Anytime your former enslaver gives you your religion, that's a problem. You understand? If the Ku Klux Klan is Christians and they pray into Jesus, and then they shove this down your throat because they didn't hung your mother and father, and now they shove this, and now you praying to the same Jesus. That seemed to be a problem there. Did you like the Black Panther movie when you seen them honoring the ancestors in the movie? Yes, yeah. because you are a continuation of your ancestors. You see, the ancestors aren't somebody in the graveyard or at the cemetery. The ancestors is a continuation of you in your DNA. They're with you. What's wrong? That, it's like you got to start over. Like Listen. people act like they love Jesus Christ because of fear. Well, shit, that's not what I was going to say. I was going to bring it full circle for the Monique thing. And that ain't never revealed itself to you. That imaginary ass shit. Yeah, you fear what happens when you die, so you act right. like you love Jesus. Right, but Christian, I mean, Christianity is the mental safe place for niggas who won't study who they are. Right. Mm.